Welcome back to Taste Tested Kitchen. Today I'll show you how to make my Irish apple cake. Here's what you'll need. A nine inch springform pan, half a cup salted butter at room temperature, half a cup of sugar, two eggs, one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon, one teaspoon of baking powder, one and a fourth cup flour, three to four tablespoons of milk. In a mixer or with a hand mixer, cream the butter and sugar together on medium speed for one minute. Incorporate the eggs one at a time. Remember to scrape your bowl. Next, add the cinnamon and the baking powder into your flour and whisk it together. Slowly add the flour into your butter mixture. Gradually adding the flour will ensure a clump-free batter. Add the milk slowly, a little at a time. I usually add all four tablespoons so the batter isn't too thick. Now stir and scrape by hand to make sure the ingredients are mixed. The batter will be thicker than a typical cake batter. Spray your pan with a cooking oil and toss a little bit of flour around to keep everything from sticking. Pour the batter into the pan and spread it out evenly. For the topping, you'll need three-fourths of a cup of flour, half a cup of cold butter cubed, half a cup of sugar, fourth of a cup old-fashioned oats, one teaspoon of cinnamon, two Granny Smith apples peeled and sliced, pastry blender. Place the apples on top of the cake batter. You can do any kind of design you'd like. Granny Smith apples are my favorite to use because of their tart, sweet flavors and crisp bite. Add your sugar, cinnamon, and oats to your flour and whisk together. Now add the butter cubes, a few at a time, incorporating them into the flour, making the crumb or streusel topping. Sprinkle the crumbs over the apples, covering them completely. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees, allowing the oven to be at this heat for a good 15 minutes before baking will help evenly bake your cake. Bake it for 55 minutes or until golden brown. This is one of my grandma's favorite cakes. It's not overly sweet, so you can have it for breakfast without feeling like you're overindulging. Run a knife around the edge of the pan to make sure nothing sticks. Gently remove the outer form of the pan and set it to the side. The cinnamon and sugar streusel gives the cake a crunchy topping Combined with the sweet tartness of the apples, all resting on a fluffy cake, it has just the right amount of sweetness. Enjoy!